Nigerians are being mocked everywhere in the world. Not because of their bad behavior, but because of the contraction created by the British government. Nigeria is no longer what it used to be because we have bad leaders as those who are precise in the affairs of the contraction. A contraction that was created by British. A contraction where they don't obey court orders. A contraction where they kill innocent people and allow those who are killers to move around freely with AK-47. A contraction where you have a former terrorist, Buhari, as the president. And now a drop baron as a president. Who has also refused to beg God order because he believes so much that he is above the law. A brave prophet told you and now. As an American made us remember that time shall come when this contraction will be wars down Somalia and Sudan. That you should be ready to get your Somalia visa. And this is exactly what is happening today. Tribu came into office instead of him to change his ways. He decided to follow the footsteps of his predecessor. With the agreement signed by British government to continue to make sure that they remain relevant in Nigeria. To have the oil and our resources the way they want it. Just like France did to Niger. Free of charge. And the only man they saw and told Tinubu to continue to keep in communicado is Mazen Namde Khan, whom they claim is a threat to them. A man that so many people have called for his release, including some international men, even some military men that some of you don't know, military men aside. U.S. government has called for his release. Several people. But Nigerian government continue to keep him. Because what? Because British wanted to be so. According to the news I'm seeing today, Nigerian government won't adopt Chinese currency. We told you that this country, Nigeria, you see today, you will see no more. Because they are going to sell everything. Adopting Chinese currency, they show that our Naira is finished. All the prophecies, this gentleman prophesied, he is coming one after the other. Soon, this country, we have no place to contain anybody. And then, all these leaders, we understand that the masses are tired of this shit hole. They claim to be leaders, but they don't be caught others. They claim to be leaders. They steal, they kidnap, they rob, they terrorize people. They left all their base went to a man's house in Abia State. If we don't fight her, they attacked him. They killed 28 people. They left someone that injured. They killed his mother, his father. They chased him out from his house. While they were at it, the government did not say anything. These are people working for government. These are people working for judiciary. These are people working for the so-called Supreme Court. That told you and I, few days ago, that his release 
will be squashed and they should continue from the beginning now the question is this how do you expect such country to work a country that the president controls the judiciary a country that the presidency control the police control the soldier control the DSS how can the masses survive such country a country that DSS does not obey court order convert it a country that the judiciary has been bought by Bo Britain and the presidency of Nigeria this is why you see everything is going wrong and it can never be redeemed. Nigeria is dead. Soon they will adopt Chinese currency. We hope that they are going to rise again, but they are going to fall automatically. In fact, so many people will pick up arms. Something bad will happen. The leaders will have themselves to be blamed because the war is coming. The American government, inside of them, has been telling the British government to do the right thing, but they have refused to listen. Because why? Because they are full of shit. They want to take over everything. And for them to have that, None they can must be custody. And this is how you are going to see Nigeria turn to Sudan. Nigeria turn to Somalia. Even worse than Somalia. Go and mark it one place. Here we are watching, waiting, and it's going to happen because the prophet has said it before he was kidnapped. And that will happen. Do not forget, mark it one place. I told you, there will be a restoration of Biafra. But not from these criminals who are going around shouting as we speak. The man in prison yard, the man in custody, will be the same man that will restore Biafra. That if Nigerian government refuse to do the nephew, go and wait and see. Jay.